Hi everybody, this is Scott with TCC Connect eLearning and today I am going to show you how you can do a voice presentation within your PowerPoint. So what you're looking at right now is just a basic PowerPoint presentation and the way that this works inside of PowerPoint is that on each slide it allows you to insert uh, auto, you know, your audio. So you can conceivably create a lecture that would play through these slides when someone watches your presentation. The way that it works though is because there are m more than one slide you would have to take your speech and cut it up into segments that align with each one of the tiles here, each one of the presentation tiles. Meaning that for the welcome you'll have to insert a welcome and then go on to your next point and insert that and you would just make mini speeches on each on each uh, slide instead of doing just one continuous lecture. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and let me show you how this is done. So I've selected the welcome and typically when um, when you have uh, PowerPoint open it'll be at the, on the home tab. And so if we wanted to put voice in here all I have to do is just click you know just make sure the, ta uh, the uh, tile is selected and we want to go up to the insert tab and select it. And we're going to go ahead and go all the way back here to the to the far right and you can see there is a place for audio. If I click on it, it allows you to insert audio from a file. So if you have something that you've edited and you already know that you can put it in there, that's great. It has clip art audio and then lastly it has record audio. And for this demonstration that's what we're going to choose. I'm going to click on that. It then gives me a little record box and I can I could even rename it. Call it welcome. And then it gives me only one choice to, you know, other than cancel, it gives me a red record button. So let's go ahead. Hi everybody and welcome to this presentation. So now I've created this and I can even play it back if I want to. Hi everybody and welcome to this presentation. So if you're happy with it once you've recorded it you can simply just click OK. Once you do it's going to give you this sound icon and the next step <clears throat> if you want it to play if you want it to play automatically you're gonna have to do another step. So otherwise what will happen is you'll have to click on it and that can be a little bit uh, troublesome if you're using a slide advancer you know just a clicker so you'll click on the sound icon and you'll come up here to the top to audio tools and after you click on audio tools and let's go ahead and do that you're going to see a tab that says playback and what we want to do is you can see right here it says start on click well I don't want to click it, I want it to play automatically. So I'm going to select automatically. And so now, now that I have done so by, you know, doing that, I can go back to the beginning here and I can come down here to this little slideshow icon or you can just simply press F5. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the beginning and now it's going to launch and watch what happens when I click the advance key to the next slide. Hi everybody and welcome to this presentation. So it went ahead and played. Isn't that cool? Okay. So many of you might be saying, well, that's great and all, but I don't want to have to advance each slide when this is happening. Well, you don't have to. What you can do is <clears throat> you start on the very first slide right here and you go to animations or actually let's see here I believe it is no it's transitions pardon me you click on the first slide you come to transitions and all the way over here you can see where it says advance slide and right now it's defaulted to on mouse click well let's say you've got your speech timed out and the problem with this or the trick with this is you're going to have to know how long each slide is going to have to last. You're going to have to kind of time this out, but it can be done. So what you can do is de-check that. You can click this and then you can see here you have a timer, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can actually advance 
it'll advance itself and so what that means is if you set each slide for a minute or 30 seconds or five minutes whichever the case may be you can actually set this this particular timer and then once you're doing that now you're automatically advancing slides and it's automatically playing the audio on each slide so really what you the really the key to this is finding your longest part of your speech on whatever slide that is finding out how long it goes and then just making that your time so that way you know that all the other ones the, there may be a little bit of silence there but still for a student all they would have to do is click on your PowerPoint and then they can just sit back and watch a lecture and the the slides would change automatically and the uh, the audio would advance automatically with each slide so I hope that this quick presentation has been helpful. If you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us via the information displayed at the end of this video. Thank you very much.